Hi, welcome to this video tutorial on backing up your uh, computer with Windows 7. We are going to go through some of the options so that you can make a full system disk of your computer in case your hard drive crashes, then you're able to get your computer system back up and running in a matter of less than an hour. My name is Terry Bockover and I'm owner operator of Indy Speedy IT Services of Indiana. You can reach us on the web at www.indiespeedyit.com and from there you can get contact information and you can call us and schedule any time that you need advanced computer repair or custom programming and we serve the central Indiana area for the last 10 years. So let's get started. We'll minimize our web browser here and we will go to the start menu on Windows 7 at the lower left hand corner of your screen and we will go to control panel now if you don't see backup and restore options you can always uh, go to the search control panel and we can start typing in backup and we'll see backup and restore come up that's a way we can get to it quickly and easily okay now the first thing you need is a create a system repair disk and it just takes one CD and that way if your system becomes unbootable inoperable you can always create a DVD that will boot your system and it'll do two things. It'll have some tools on it that you can fix which I wouldn't recommend using unless you know how to use them because you could damage your system even further and you can also have menu options to restore from a complete system image which is what we're getting ready to create now. So now that we're at this screen we put our DVD in we hit create disk it'll take five minutes or so or less depending on the speed of your computer and now you have a full system disk and in case your system crashes you can boot to this disk and be able to have several tools at your disposal to repair your system now to be able to repair a system we have to have a system image so we create a system image by clicking on that link here now the best way to do it on your first backup is to have an external hard drive now, I recommend having a hard drive at least the size of your hard drive should be the minimum so if you have a 500 gig hard drive on your laptop or desktop you should have at least a 500 gigabyte external drive they're under a hundred dollars and I guarantee you the drives will be less than what it costs for somebody to restore your system we charge about a hundred dollars to restore your system and then we also charge extra for any applications we install so it can be quite expensive if you get a virus and you have to restore your system this way you can save yourself time and headaches by creating a system disk and it has your whole complete C drive on the backup so I've got my Seagate external drive plugged into my USB port on my laptop and I select on a hard disk option to back up now naturally since I only have one external drive hooked up it's only gonna have one drive on the list okay now the backup is pretty straightforward Windows does not allow you to designate a folder to back it up it just puts it in the root of your external drive so if I was to create the drive backup I just hit click next and it shows the information where I want to back it up, uh, how much disk space where the backup could take up to 271 gigabyte. That's on my system because I have a lot of stuff on my computer. And most people's computers don't have a lot of stuff on it. I have 28 to 50 megabyte or gigabytes already installed. So just the base operating system of Windows 7 is probably 15 to 25 gigabytes, depending on whether you have Microsoft Office or something like that installed. So everything's gotten really huge. So we need to. Uh, you know back up our system to an external drive because it's quicker and easier and then you have everything backed up so we hit start backup and once we hit start backup it'll just start copying files to your external drive and there's nothing else to do okay now I'm not going to go through that part but I'm going to show you what the backup looks like after you get it backed up on your uh, external drive so we'll minimize everything here we'll go back to computer and we'll pick our free agent drive here and it creates a folder on your external drive called Windows Image Backup now basically it has the file date you know when it was created 
but it's always going to create, it's never going to create this folder again. So if you do another image backup, it's going to do it the same folder. So to avoid problems uh, with our backup, we are going to create a new folder and we're going to rename this folder uh, backup system. And we're going to put today's date in to 14 20. 11. Okay, this way we know when we created a system backup. Now we can just drag this folder in there and it's done. Now we know we can create another system image backup until we run out of hard drive space. And I'd create, oh, anytime you put on a major application that you paid money for, I would highly recommend that you make a full system backup. That way you don't have to reinstall your application data all over again. And then once you've made that backup of your system, then you can delete your older full system backups. But this way, at any time, uh, whenever you get done making this backup, you'll have a full system image. You'll be able to get your system back in less than an hour. You get a virus or something like that, you'll just save yourself lots of time. So we hope you find this tutorial informative. And if you can't do it on your own, you can always contact Terry Bachover or one of our other associates at www indiespeedyit.com. Thanks for watching and I hope you have a great week.